and people with albinism have been recognized as some of the furthest behind, even within the cluster of disabilities. So the human rights issues faced by persons with albinism, so the issue of um, health, as you know, um, the skin cancer, and the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination classified some of the experiences of people with albinism as discrimination based on color. So we're largely seen as a group facing an intersected form of discrimination from the starting point, which is disability and color. And you can add other aggravating um, factors such as gender, age, and there's also the problem of harmful practices related to witchcraft. My mandate is supposed to address root causes as well, and many of the root causes we found are like poverty, ignorance. Uh, we don't need, we don't necessarily need new laws because we're saturated with laws everywhere. We need a compendium of specific measures that can then be implemented as policy. So there needs to be community level work done, very specific measures such as that. We need to come through a national action plan. We think that uh, the mission you want it's, it's very important. We know you have a, a, a program, so we will be very keen to listen to your, as you, you know, conclude your program. What else can we be working with you? Which which other uh, instruments should be should we be strengthening?